so today we are going to discuss about privilege level so what is privilege level how it works we will discuss each and everything so first thing first what is privilege level so let me tell you privilege level is used to define what particular command a user can run once he logged into the device so let me write it that it is used to define what particular command a user can run once they logged into device so this is privilege level means what are the particular commands so let's take an example <coughs> there are two users one name is bob and the second one is mike <coughs> bob is working for like 2 years in a company so he can configure anything like he can run the shutdown commands he can configure routing he can configure anything he is the root user but there is a guy whose name is Mike he just joined two days ago so I don't want to give him the, all the access to my company resources because I don't trust him because there are only two days so I need to monitor him for like three months and maybe three weeks up to a company's policy but I want to monitor him whether he is trustworthy or not so I will give him only show command so that he cannot disturb my configuration in commands that is the part of testing ping telnet ssh so i want to make sure that this user mike can run only few commands like all the show commands so that he can view the configuration of my company whether interface is up or down but he cannot shut it down or no shut it because this can be only done by the experienced person so i need to limit the commands limit the commands so how can i do it i will use the concept of privilege level now cisco is giving you the 0 1 and 15 privilege level these are predefined so let me tell you what are the privilege level they are from privilege level starts from 0 to 15 is equal to we have total 16 privilege level so in between we have 0 1 and 15 are the predefined and the custom ones are we can build our own from 2 to 14 these are custom so what are the commands in previous level 0 1 and 15 let me show you so this is my topology i have router r1 and r2 let me check whether i have basic connectivity or not yeah i can ping it so the first is privilege level zero so if we used to put enable here let me explain the modes Three modes user excuse me user exec mode and config mode So what, what do you mean by exec? This word is taken from the Unix. So exec means uh, exec means uh, in Unix it is taken from the Unix and exec means CLI. So this is the word that is taken from the Unix. So we have three. It's like this. The sign is this. It's sign is this. And it, this is so 
this is my user exec mode and if i put here enable question mark you can say okay which level you want to enable i am saying i will start with zero if i put question mark i have these commands in privilege level zero i can disable means turn off the privilege level i will be exit it out enable enable means i can move from another privilege level turn on the privilege commands means i can move to privilege level 1 2 3 5 something like this enable question mark i can move to 15 privilege level so it's used to go to another privilege level exit means exit from exit from the exec exec i already discussed that this means cli exec is taken from the units and this means cli so i'm going to exit it out from the console or from telnet ssh what i'm taking help is to take the help what is the meaning of the command and log out again exit from the exec so we cannot run any command because these are used to just exit it out or go to another privilege level but if i put enable one so let me type exit so that we can demonstrate any command so exit it out from the console so disable and enable one now in privilege level one i have like more than the commands that are in privilege level zero so these are the commands that i can run in privilege level one so privilege level zero has some commands like enable that is used for going to higher privilege level privilege 1 to 15 exit and disable exit out from exec or i can say cli help you know about it that meaning of the command now what is privilege level zero so we we already discussed it now what is privilege level one now privilege level one is called testing privilege level so in the company we used to say okay this user has a testing privilege level they are not talking about something new privilege level they are talking about privilege level one what is testing privilege so testing means we need to check the network whether my network has a proper reachability or not ping commands are working or not telnet i can reach table from here and there so this is called testing privilege level so let me show you that yes i can run the ping commands there must be a telnet there must be a ssh and all the show command so show so these are the show commands that are used to check the different environment whether my eigrp is there or not so even i can check my eigrp so these are the commands that we can use for the privilege and even we can run this command that will tell you that what is your current privilege level this command is not we cannot perform it in privilege level 0 but we can use it in privilege level one. so most of the show commands i can say 99% of the show commands are there in privilege level 1 and what is privilege level 15 privilege level 15 means you are root user level 15 root can run anything any command so if i say enable 15 this is privilege level 15 i can go to configure i can run all these command so show privilege this is my privilege level 15 so we have learned three things The first one is 
0, 1 and 15 are predefined. 0 very few commands like 5. 1 is testing commands and all the testings and show command. And 15 means root user. Now how to bind? We have one task that we need to bind. We need to limit the commands because Mike is the person who joined our company like two days ago. So we will create a username. Username Mike. Privilege. What privilege I want to give? I will give him one so that he can perform all the testing commands. Password is also Mike. And username Bob. I will give him, he is the root user, so I will give him 15. And password is Bob. I just enable the telnet. Login. Local. That's more than enough. So I will go to telnet. R1 and telnet R2. This is my topology. So on R1, I will I am typing 12.1.2. So this is the IP address of R2. And on R2, I defined the username and privilege. So I will give him first my password is my show privilege. Privilege level is one. So he can run the telnet command, all the SSH. Commands. This is a test, but he cannot run the config commands and everything. If he wants to go to another privilege level, it means he wants to try to move to privilege level 5, 6 or 15 is not going to allow it. So I will exit it out from here and try to go with the Bob. No privilege. He is 15. He can run any command from 50, interface, shut, no. So it's quite easy, right? Now we will going to learn how to create a custom privilege level so it's really really easy you just need to go to config and type privilege what particular mode you want to use you want to use exec or config so i want i'm telling use exec which privilege level you want to configure? Uh, let me take a random number between 2 to 14. So I will take 3. And what particular command you want to enable on privilege level 3? So let me say I am taking a ping command. So this is the particular command I am defining here. So make sure the spelling should be correct because if the spelling is wrong, he is not going to accept the command. But the second he cannot accept the command but if you go through the CLI it does not show you anything whether your command is wrong or right. So there must be a rule of inheritance. There is a rule of inheritance. This is the most important part of privilege level. Inheritance. Inheritance rule. So we will discuss this inheritance rule. Suppose these are the four building blocks. Okay. Now, suppose there is a user who is on this, who is standing on the roof. What particular building he can view? What particular roof he can view? There is a building A, B, C and D. So he can view only this roof, right? But he cannot view this roof or he cannot view this roof. So he cannot view it. So if the user is on this building, he can view only this roof or this roof, but he cannot view this roof. I am taking just example, just random. So same is the concept for the privilege level. Same is the privilege. Suppose this is privilege level 1, this is privilege level 3, this is 7 and this is 15. 
just these are the just random ones i'm underlining the random ones these are the random ones if i assign a privilege level to a user 3 so he can according to my previous example he can view this roof who is smaller than his building so this means he can run all the commands that are in privilege level 1 plus 3 and in between 2 so this inheritance rule is saying if you are moved to privilege level 3 this means you can run the command that are in privilege level 2 plus 1 so same for here if you are at privilege level 7 you can view the commands of privilege level 3 and 5 this means if a user at privilege level 7 he can run all the commands that are defined in 6 5 4 3 2 1 so he can run all these commands and privilege level 15 user can run all the commands like 14 13 12 11 7 3 1 each and every command this is the inheritance rule it will inherit the commands that are in the lower privilege level so if you assign a privilege level 7 to a user he can run all the commands that are in privilege level 6 to 1. So this is the rule, inheritance rule. Inheriting the commands of a lower privilege level. So it means I am assigning a 3. Suppose I define some command in privilege level 2 like config t. So it will inherit that config t in privilege level 3 also. So let me define a basic privilege level first. So privilege exec level 3 and the command is ping 3 and the command is telnet. So these are the two commands that a privilege level 3 can run but there is a predefined privilege level 1 so he can run all the commands that are in privilege level 1. So I will bind it just with the name Cisco privilege 3 not Cisco the, the name is Mike privilege 3 password is Mike so now if I exit it out from here because I'm getting the access of the R2 through R1 by the using of telnet so show run section user name. So privilege level three password zero means this is plain text. I already defined my previous nuggets that zero means I'm using a password plain text. So it has a privilege level three. So I will tell it 12.1.2. Mike, Mike, three. So now my current privilege level is three. So this is quite easy. So if you want to enable, but he cannot run the config t command. So let's define him one more command that is configuration terminal. So this is privilege exec mode. So I will go to here. Username not username sorry privilege exec level 3 and configure terminal so he can run but there are some limited commands he can run only but he cannot go to interface suppose I need to promote him so that he can config go to interface so now my mode will be changed this is not exec mode this is configure mode because I am in the config so configure level 3 and the command is interface f0 slash 0 so now if I put a question mark I have one option that is called interface uh, suppose I want to assign I cannot put no shut command so I want to assign him a no shutdown command so I will go here privilege now I am not in a configure mode I am not in a configure mode I am in a config if mode so 
Cafe Level 3 No Shut You can put shortcuts also in not int pass ethernet or config t so no. the, the command that previously is not accepted now it is accepted so by using this you can define the privilege level to any user so this is the nugget that i'm discussing about the privilege level so let's Devise the concept in a high level of overview that privilege level means what particular command a user can run 0, 1 and 15 are predefined if I want to change the privilege I can use privilege if, is a, if it is a privilege mode command so I will use exec if the command is of config t I will use configure and if I am configuring interface or something I will use interface then I will define what are what is my privilege level so let me write here also some random number from 2 to 14 and the commands here I can say show here I can say interface or even I can define IP address so let's take a last example that suppose I cannot define the IP address here uh, if I go to the interface of 0 slash 0 IP address unrecognized command so I can define it by using privilege exec interface level 3 IP address so now my command is accepted so that's 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 it. This is my privilege level.